this is a continuation of our discussion on visualizing data using computer graphics. Uh, last time we discussed uh, the use of computer graphics to understand some scientific or engineering principles and we use uh, the example of greatest gradient descent which is a technique often used in deep learning, a branch of uh, machine learning or AI. Now in the example, we define a hypothesis x theta x uh, to be theta 0 plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 xn plus up to theta n xn. So we have n parameters x1, x2 to xn. So this can be uh, summed over i equals 0 to n theta i xi. We define x sub 0 to be 1. So theta equals theta 0, theta 1, theta n. So we have n plus 1 theta i, but only uh, n parameters. So the, the x sub 0 is artificial, we say to 1. Other x i's are actual uh, features. And the gradient descent algorithm is to start with some theta, say the a vector 0, uh, and iterate this formula. Theta i uh, equals theta i minus over the learning rate, sum over all the data, this m, m data samples from 1 to m, and uh, calculate the difference between the prediction and the actual data, uh, zj, times uh, the xij for the jf data. Okay. So we consider the special example with n equals 2, that means two features or two parameters. So we represent this in 3D graphics. So the x1 is our x, x2 is y, uh, the output is z, and x theta x is theta 0 plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2. And we generate our data using a random number generator and normalize of them to uh, uh, 0, 1. So x, y, are generated by uh, one number generators and z is calculated according to uh, this formula z equals e to the power minus x squared plus y squared so it is also between 0 and 1 x theta x now is equal to theta 0 plus theta 1 x plus theta 2 y so we want to implement uh, this simple algorithm So our program consists of two parts. Uh, one is the main program, which consists of the main function, which is the usual graphics housekeeping uh, part. So we use cut init to do the initialization, and we use a uh, single buffer RGB mode, and the window size will be of screen width and screen height which is defined in the other file and we uh, put the window at location pixel 80 and pixel 100 and then we create a window with the argument uh, that we enter and do the initialization and the keyboard function is named keyboard Display function is display, reshape function is reshape. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. So the um, part that actually do the implementation of the gradient descent is in this file, g descent. So here we define the screen width to be 700, screen height also 700. So m is the number of data points. So we set it to 100, and n, the number of features or parameters, it is 2. Um, so 
So we have two parameters, x, y, r, representing x1, x2. And we also define a variable ac, which is the rotation angle about z-axis is zero. So we can rotate the data around the z-axis to see uh, how they look. We we'll define the class point three to represent the data. So in our rotation, uh, v3 is the array to represent the data. So v0 is our x, v1 is our y, v2 is our z. So we have m data points and theta. Remember, theta, we have n plus 1 uh, theta i's because we start from theta 0. And alpha, our learning rate, it is 0 0.01. It cannot be too small. If it is too small, it won't convert. And it theta. The H theta here, the value calculated from uh, the set of theta i's. Here it is theta 0 plus theta 1 x plus theta 2 y uh, is given by this x theta. So we, for each set of x y values, we have a corresponding x theta. The keyboard is the keyboard function. So that means when I press the T, uh, the display function will be uh, called again. And when I press R, I increment the rotation angle by 5 degrees and uh, do the display. It means to call the display function. E is to exit, escape is to exit. So uh, to be straight, when something changed, uh, or when the graphics first starts, is set a uh, viewing window. So we use orthographic projection. So in the projection, uh, the left is negative 1, the right is 1, uh, the bottom is negative 1, the top is 1, near is 1, far is 20. So this defines the viewing volume, or you can, if you want. Uh, you can try, you can use uh, perspective projection using uh, the uh, first term to define it. Something like uh, use parameters like this. Yeah. And we set the matrix mode to be uh, model view. And the cool look at defines the viewing parameters. So we set our camera at the point 2 to 2 looking at the position 0, 0, 0, 0. That means basically we are looking along a diagonal of a unit Q. And uh, up direction is Z axis. Z is the up direction. And uh, then we rotate uh, around the Z axis by the angle AC, which is 0, if we don't press the key R. So we do the initialization. We set the background to be white. Yeah, because our GP are set to one, yeah. and then the join color to be black, and we start with identity, and we uh, generate some random data and normalize them to one uh, to be a value between zero and one. So uh, X okay, will be put in v0 of the point i so in the math notation we call this j but these are dummy indices okay. so the jf data or if data here so we uh, use random to generate a random number uh, take the module screen width and divide it by the screen width so that uh, the value is between 0 and 1 the same for y and we put this uh, y in v1. So v0 is our x, v1 is our y, and z is calculated by uh, this formula, and it is v2. Okay. 
So V0, V1, V2 represent uh, X, Y, Z. And theta, at the beginning, we set all the theta values to be 0. And remember, we have n plus 1 uh, theta values. So we, we all we have set all of them to be 0. And the function draw axis is to draw the uh, x, y, z axis. So the blue color represents the x, okay, y, where we, draw, we use it to draw, uh, so green to draw y, and z we use red. Okay, so draw axis, and it's called you draw the free line, the free axis. Draw points is to draw the data point. So we set the data point size to be 6 and draw all the points uh, x, y, z in the array. And eight, theta j, uh, we totally have n plus 1 x because we start from x0. x0 is 1. And other x values are saved in the points uh, j. Uh, and we have the n parameter. Okay, so that's uh, for here, we start from 1, x1. And v0 corresponds to our x1. V2 corresponds to our uh, x3. Uh, V1 corresponds to x2. And V3, v uh, this, uh, v there's no v V3 here. V3 is our C that's calculated. Yeah. That's our uh, Xt. Xt is calculated by this formula corresponding to uh, uh, this formula. So we turn xt, and here's uh, this way. So we have a parameter first. We set two. The first time we had, uh, do this, and this is two. So we create a screen, and uh, we could uh, set the cool at and rotate uh, about z axis. AC is zero at the beginning. And then we draw the axis okay, and set the color to be red and draw the points. If we did the first time, then we are done. We don't want to go further. We set the first to be false and we turn. Okay. So now let's see how the data looks okay, at the very beginning. So we, now this is our make file. Okay. So the, we have the program G descent the output and also the draw may so link this together and now we execute this so this is um, the display so the data points are red and this is book is uh, x uh, green is y z is red the up direction is z so uh, that's how it looks okay. at the moment. Uh, let's exit first. Now, if I press the key T, then th this page will be called again. So it is not the first time. So that means it will continue as first is false now. And uh, we set the color to be black. And we calculate the uh, predicted points to do it. We sum over the x i theta uh, i. Okay. So we start with sum equals zero. We need to do sum over all the data points. If i equals zero, that means x zero. It is equal to one. Okay. Otherwise, uh, it is equal to uh, v zero or v one. And then we calculate the xt, the predicted value, by the, the function x theta xj that we just discussed. Okay. So 
do it is uh, calculate by this formula okay. or formula okay. and we iterate okay according to this formula so you can see that beta i equals beta i minus alpha times some alpha is the learning rate and so we, we have calculated the predict values uh, so now we can pre uh, display the predicted values so today they are m uh, at data points and corresponding predicted values so we display them uh, using the x beta values we got okay. so this is the x y and the c value and we send another data out okay. So if I execute this again, so this is the first data, and now I press the key T, the black dots are the predicted values, and now I press it again, iterate again and again, so the data values are updated until it converges, okay, it doesn't move much, okay. and so the predicted values are pretty close to the target value, the actual data. So now if we have certain x, y values, like uh, x and y is at this position, then we can predict what the uh, z value using the x theta, using the set of theta values that we obtain, the theta that we obtain by iteration. Now you can also press key at uh, the uh, key R to rotate the data to see it from uh, different perspective, as you can see here. So you can try this out. Use uh, more data values and uh, play with the data and see how it works. Thank you. Bye bye.